Dr. Andrew Fox was lead chaplain of a fire department in Austin, Texas for eight years. And then he wrote on his personal blog about how men shouldn't be able to compete on women's athletic teams even if they are dressed in drag. And that's a point that just about any sane person would come to agree with, but not everybody who responded was sane. Yet the so-called LGBT community was outraged and decided to try to get him fired. Again, remember, He's a chaplain, so he's publicly pronouncing that he's Christian. Then he comes out with this blog post on his personal blog, away from his work, in which he puts forth what is both a rational point and also a religious one, right? Because, I mean, it is, it's not even a religious statement to say that men are men and women are women. Um, you know, it's just a point of fact. But it also does have... Um, Christian implications as well. You can't be a Christian and proclaim that there is no truth, for example. So anyway, he then was given an opportunity to recant his personal beliefs. He had to come forth and apologize to the gay community. He was expected to do that. Um, what he did was, I don't know, maybe a semi-apology. He, he simply explained his intent. He said his, his intent was to foster discussion, not cause offense, and he did apologize if anyone was offended. And, as you might expect, that was not enough, because it's never enough. These people cannot be placated. They want you to not just kneel, but disappear and be vanquished. So there's no point really apologizing to them, most especially if you haven't done anything wrong, as he hadn't. So that wasn't enough for Austin city officials, so he was fired from his job as a volunteer chaplain for eight years. So he served his job, did his duty faithfully for eight years, I guess there's a dual meaning of faithfully there, um, before being fired for a personal blog post in which he expressed his opinion. The Alliance Defending Freedom is representing the chaplain on First Amendment grounds. You do, in fact, have a right to speak and write freely about your religious beliefs or your personal opinions uh, in America for now. And remember, this chaplain isn't being accused of mistreating anyone. It's not the case that there's, you know, a bunch of gay firefighters who are like, you know, he was he was mean to me at some point and he mistreated me. That that didn't happen. There have been no complaints against him in his professional duties. None of that. He simply wrote a blog post. And I think it's interesting because it's like, well, here's this chaplain who, by nature of his job, is a man of some kind of faith, right, of a Christian faith. And everyone's okay with him being the chaplain, being a person in position of faith available to provide counsel to these firemen, but not if he actually really believes it. And that's really the point, isn't it? Because I think that we're sort of in a point in our society where you can be a Christian, sort of. You can pronounce yourself a Christian, that's okay. You know, you can just say that you're a Christian and then just sort of live as if you're an atheist. You can live a, a more secular life. But the moment that you actually start making decisions that are based upon your faith, that's when you realize just how hostile modern society is to that. And I think we're going to see that more going forward. I know that I saw that actively in England, you know, 15 plus years ago, um, that essentially the, the secular world was openly hostile toward that uh, to a degree that I think it's it's very safe to say it was socially unacceptable to be Christian and that's still the case and now you're seeing in the United States particularly more leftist zones which Austin is that it's it's not okay to practice your faith to exercise your faith you might say I know that we see that a lot in the uh, medical sector with doctors who don't want to take part in um, abortions or hysterectomies and that kind of thing and there's a there's a massive push to uh, place pressure upon those people and I'd like to do some more uh, work and some interviews on that soon hopefully I've got some uh, people in mind so I, I draw your attention to all of this because I think part of the problem is that it's rare like part of the problem is that it's rare for an individual, even a, a you know a, a chaplain apparently, uh, to to really speak out. It's rare for Christians in our society to come forth and say, "Yeah, I'm making this decision, and it's informed by my faith," and you know, kind of deal with it, so to speak, to step up. And I think we need more of that. Part of the reason why 
people can get tramped on when they do it is because there aren't so many other people around who are doing it all the time. If we were uh, speaking out more, I think that would actually be beneficial to the other people around us who are exercising their faith. And also, I think it'd be less likely for them to put the, to be in these scenarios. Again, this guy is getting defended by the Alliance Defending Freedom, who take on a lot of different cases like this, and Godspeed to him. Uh, I think we need to support people like him, I think we need to speak up more often. Wow, you made it to the end! You have an attention span that's outside of the modern world, but I have more videos, and also if you like them that much, there are ways to support the channel in the links below. Thanks.